Are you a hyper helper? Meaning, are you an individual that thrives on helping others? And sometimes find yourself feeling like, did I help? Or questioning or always searching to help. Please stay with me. This is for you. You know, this came up for me personally here recently. And I'm not saying this to hurt anyone's feelings. I'm saying this in hopes that it guides someone to that next level of release if they've been struggling with this. See, I used to be a hyper helper because, well, I grew up, I had a stable relationship in home life as long as my biological mother was not around. But for the years that she was, it conditioned me to always need to be on guard and fixing things. And see, the series I just started on Buy Me A Coffee and blogs, The Power of Words, I'm breaking down the illusions around words and help has been a word that has a lot of illusions around it. I've been breaking them myself for years. There's still levels of that illusion of that word I break on a daily. But it's about becoming aware that you even resonate in that area and respond that way. Because see, a lot of times when you are built to help and then you've been conditioned to always be the help, the one fixing things, well help takes on a whole new meaning. Help doesn't really mean what it means to you anymore if you've been conditioned in that way. What help honestly is, is you fixing things for others. You know, the scripture is so true. <laughs> you teach a man to fish, you feed him for life. Give him a fish, you feed him for a day. A lot of times we will tell ourselves because we feel these feelings, which are natural because that's what love and caring about someone is. But it's in those moments, as hyper helpers, that we have to remember, if they didn't convey what they needed, then you're not helping. You're trying to fix your need to feel better about the situation. What you're doing is actually looking for ways to fix things. And I wanna give you an example because it's something that I'm going through in parallel with my love. We have a family situation and there's a member that there's nothing that's going on that they themselves can't fix. But my babe being the loving empath he is, I watched him for about 45 minutes one day. I, I, I let him just go, working himself up after talking to this individual. And it's like, man, your situation is this and I gotta do something to help and I need to do this. Well, what do you think if I do this? And I just smiled and I said, if you're questioning what you could do to help, then you haven't been asked to be their help. Have you thought of that? And he just looked at me. And I said, there's a fine line between trying to make yourself feel better about the emotions you've let yourself get into because you do love them and actually showing up and being their help. I was like, because we all do it. I'm like, hell, I'm guilty of it a little bit from time to time. And then I'll catch myself. I'm like, yeah. A lot of times we say we're helping. And what we're doing is we're trying to fix that ego within ourselves. Because see, the ego is the thing that makes our feelings be hurt. The ego is the thing that, well, it, it's my responsibility to fix it because they're my friend and they're my loved one. And I need to be there. But when we operate helping from that standpoint, from that motivation, that ego, and not even realizing it, that's when our feelings get hurt. That's when that friend that's going through something 
you continually call them and they say, I'm not in the mood to talk. And then you continue to call and they're just like, leave it alone. <laughs> well, I just wanna, I told you what I needed. But see, that friend, will, their feelings will be hurt because it doesn't matter how nice you said, I'm good, I appreciate you. That's not what they wanted. They wanted to help, they wanted to have a conversation. But to honestly, purely, truly help, it comes from a desire deep within. And that desire is rooted and surrounded with listening, truly listening. Because see, just like love, to truly help, you must show up how they need you to show up. That is the ultimate act and the purest way of walking in love, help, compassion. Because see, we so get wrapped up in our feelings in the midst of it and trying to resolve the feelings for our loved ones, we forget no one can resolve any feeling for anyone except the person going through it. No one can fix your situation except you. And you know, I recently went through it, like I said, some, I needed space. And some friends that loved me were reaching out and I politely said, I, I'm good, just not in the mood to have conversations right now. And there were a few, a couple that continued to come back and I know they got in their feelings, but I was never rude. I was never mean, I was never malice. I just need space. There's nothing I need to talk about. But see, the ego on their side is why the feelings are hurt. Because it's not that they didn't get a response, they just didn't get the response they wanted. So now they feel like, I'm not helping. Because you weren't listening. Showing up physically or having a word with someone physically is not always how you're needed or being called to help in that situation. Sometimes the ultimate help you could give someone is being that prayer in the background that no one knows about. But so often we get so wrapped up in, I gotta be actually physically doing, we don't realize we're not helping anyone, including ourselves. All we're doing is running around doing things. And in a moment, it makes us feel a little bit better about the situation. But if we would honestly sit back and look and examine, I wonder if we would see, that didn't fix or change anything. Even though I did all that running around or all that texting about or like talking on, it didn't do nothing really. But we get so wrapped up in our emotions that we forget to pause. So if you are a hyper helper and you've been working on this, I wanna encourage you, you're not alone. We go through it daily. A lot of us do. A lot of us experience it at heightened levels. To those of you that you're always feeling like, I've been trying to help, but they won't let me. Reverse that. My help is my prayers. If they needed me to help, they would have already told me how I could be of help. Because see, to honestly help, you don't question at the end of it. You don't say, yeah, I helped Sally pack up, move out. I think that, was that the right thing to do there? I helped Sally. She called me and she said, girl, I need you to come help me pack some boxes. And I helped Sally. We got that thing wrapped on up and done. See, there's a difference. When you honestly help, you know you've helped. You don't have to ask it, question it, wonder, and still have a tinge of, but did I? May you allow yourself to unhinge from expectations because expectations only further nurture the already over-nurtured ego. May all your wantings just fall. That way you can honestly walk in the moments that are presented to you. May you understand that just because you didn't get the answer you wanted doesn't mean you didn't get the answer it's time to unhinge with the hearing lodged in an emotional state. There are a lot of feelings that have been hurt lately in situations simply because we are failing to recognize I 
just need to sit 